This video is for education and entertainment. This is not financial advice. All technical analysis in this video were made for pure speculation and opinion. Do not try any of these strategies for yourself. You are responsible for your own money. Do your own research. What's crack a lackin' everyone? MG here, and I'm back with another cryptocurrency video. So let's get into it. Market cap 1.7 trillion, guys. We are down 4.9%. Thank you, Elon. I mean, you know, I just... Can you imagine dumping your coins because some crybaby billionaire is tweeting memes about our market we were we were literally breaking out into the 40 40k range and probably was going to re retest 42 and and bounce and build some support off that and then hit up to 45k but then elon had to tweet some bitcoin meme and with a with a, with a fucking broken heart emoji and then we start dumping. Unbelievable. 24-hour volume, 176 billion. And you know, back on that, like, this guy is just messing messing with people's money. You know, like, sure, he's like this billionaire guy running two mega corporation, has four different baby mamas, literally has a baby right now, and still has time to just you know fuck with our market it's just ridiculous man it's just ridiculous btc dominance at 40.4 percent you know what i'm saying it's still down ethereum dominance 18.1 percent gas fees 20 guay guys you know get on that uniswap good prices there so we'll go down the line here we got bitcoin here 36 billion 36 billion 36,882 bucks we are actually up going up in the one hour, we're down 4.6 percent. Market cap 690 billion. Ethereum 2,600 bucks. We're up 0 0.7, down 5.4 percent. Binance Coin 389 dollars, up 1.3 percent, down six. I'm just gonna go down the 24 hour. Like, down 6.7 percent. Cardano 1. dollar 70, down 6 percent. Dogecoin, okay, Doge is actually on Coinbase right now, you know, right now Coinbase is holding some type of contest, if you trade any type of Bit Bitcoin, if you trade any type of Dogecoin, doesn't matter, you get automatically entered into some lottery to win $300,000 worth of Dogecoin, I bought, you know what I'm saying, I, I threw in like 25 bucks into it, whatever, you know. Uh, ju just to secure my spot in that lottery because hey, you never know, man. 300,000 bucks? I could do a lot with 300k. Okay, so XRP, 96, Polkadot. My God, Polkadot is $24. Uh, I'm not in Polkadot. I wish I was, you know. You know, I got respect for Gavin Wood. Down 9%. Tang Elon. Oh my God. Insane Clown Posse still in the top ten. I'm not sure why. Uh, Uniswap twenty six bucks. Bitcoin Cash almost six 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 dollars. Chain Link twenty eight bucks. I might have to pick up some more of that. Litecoin one hundred seventy six. Polygon down nine point five percent. You really still can't hold down Polygon. What? Once all this manipulation is done, Polygon is just gonna fly to like five to ten bucks. I have a feeling it's just this coin is just used so much. And it's and it's giving so much value to us. It it, it deserves to be five to ten bucks because of gasless fees. Are you kidding me? I I don't know why Uniswap did not partner with Polygon. It's just ridiculous. Solana Summer thirty six bucks. Theta though, look at this green all around, baby. Almost about to hit back to ten bucks. You know if you if you bought in on this during that massive dump, the very first Elon FUD. Mm, you, you, I'm sure your bags are looking very nice. Stellar at 38 cents and V Chain still 13 cents. It actually made up what it almost made up what it lost from the last dump. So today I want to go over a couple coins that I'm into. Wax, okay, I'm still in Wax. 
If you guys know, I made an old video on Wax in 2018, breaking it down uh, before they went on EOS, which was interesting. And I want to also do some TA on my top doggy coin that has the most data right now next to Doge, that is SHIB. So let's get into it here. Let's see what's going on with Wax. Um, let's actually do... Is there a tether? Yeah, wax tether. Let's do wax tether. It's it's still crazy to me how this coin is still not on on Binance. It's like what is the deal? What what's the beef here, guys? What is the freaking beef here? So let's see. Here we go in the monthly. We are posting two red months there, and it's looking like it's on a downtrend. You know, not very large red monthly candles but still red nonetheless so we'll go to the weekly here it's looking like wax is posting one two three four five six seven it's posting seven red weeks okay you know again the fundamentals have not changed with this project so i'm not worried too much about that so we'll go into the one day and I'm not sure why this It's looking like that okay so we go to the one day here okay um, as far as money flow it's looking like it's non-existent here let's actually switch it up I'm not sure what the heck is going on here let's do wax there's got to be another um, exchange here Let, let's let's just do the Bitcoin pair that's much better there you go okay that's much better we'll take it from the top we'll we'll, we'll do the weekly here okay so it's looking like there's tons and tons of manipulation here going on with my wax as far as the weekly is concerned however it's looking like the EMA ribbons are beginning to flip bullish here it's looking like there's a possible uptrend forming here from what I see and we can see here that a trend reversal has been confirmed. EMA ribbons have flipped bullish. We are well above these EMA ribbons here as well as the 200 day, 200 day, the 50 day moving average, we're above that as well. And we can see here that as far as momentum waves are concerned here, it's looking like we're still maintaining that. We have this nice healthy slope here However, money flow is looking kind of bearish there. VWAP is acting as support. And um, it's looking like there was lots of manipulation here, guys. Dating as far back as Q4 of 2020. I'm definitely glad that that manipulation piece has... Oh, oops. What the heck? I'm definitely glad that that manipulation has stopped as far as the weekly is concerned. And it's looking like the bears and the bulls are really getting down and dirty, and the bear and the and the bulls are trying to beat out the bears, which is you know something really good. So as far as I'm concerned here, I'm not quite sure what Wax wants to do here. Wax could maintain this uptrend like this, maybe post to the downside and create some smaller smaller divergences. We'll just have to see. You know, but as far as I'm concerned, wax is always a buying opportunity for me as well. So we'll go here into the daily. It's looking like we got a lot of volatility here. Let me uh, stretch that out there. And it's looking like the 20 day and the 200 day moving average have crossed. I'm not quite sure what that type of cross means. However, it's does not look bearish to me so one thing that we can note here is this divergence starting from the 25th of April and then ending actually literally almost a month afterwards of just interesting price action here and it's looking like wax wants to post to the upside which is great money flow is bloody okay you know However, that narrative could change based on this divergence here. 
it's looking like wax wants to post up and it's looking like these bullish confirmations here is confirming that as well we have the trend reversal confirmed here on the 29th actually that's funny because that was actually one of my uh, good friends birthday you know shout out to you bro um happy belated um confirmed there on the 29th and that's confirming as well with this anchor wave here and we are well above the 200 day moving average EMA ribbons have flipped bullish god these these wicks are just man just volatile as fuck however this is looking very good to me um let's actually put in some support lines here so i'd probably say you know we can have our support here at 309 uh 309 satoshis and as far as our resistance line we'll just do at this very top wick right here at 530 sats you know a very good target here if you're trying to trade this coin is probably a thousand sats that would be very good so we can take a look at our spread here price range 72 percent okay not bad not bad price 72 percent spread up and down you know what i'm saying so i would probably where 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 would i put in some bids here probably at the support line here i'd probably put in a bid at 378 sats and see if see if that would actually confirm if if my order would actually fill <clears throat> actually excuse me let me take a sip of my drink here today's beverage of choice is black coffee with one lump of sugar okay because you know it's friday and uh, i'm feeling kind of sweet so i so i would probably put in a stink bid here at 378 satoshis just to see what would happen you know if if wax will continue this i would like to see some pattern like this and possibly test the 530 satoshi uh range there if we can break through that and bounce off the 530 uh satoshi uh, level i could see it going higher you know what i'm saying and of course you know your boy is biased full disclosure you guys know i'm in wax okay that's probably the narrative that i'm going to go with probably some sideways actions here we're going to break out of the 530 satoshi level test that build some support and make our way up because i'm sticking with that narrative because of this because of this momentum wave that is shooting up so as far as i'm concerned wax is looking good you know what i'm saying if you are into this coin you should not be worried about any of these price dips because the fundamentals outweigh the technicals so speaking of that let's just take a look at their website here you know the king of nfts okay this is one of the most popular nft blockchains out there second second to luxo because you know luxo is a monster and it will be essentially conquering it will, it will it will be eating away at wax's market share let's just say that but as of now wax is just killing it right now in my opinion so we'll go over to the roadmap here okay partnership capcom i'm really hype i was actually kind of disappointed that there was no resident evil 8 nfts uh let's see development development and then we move over to june 30th 2021 accessibility to wax in the wax cloud wallet okay and the wax cloud mobile wallet wax cloud wallet improvements so th this is this is what we got going here in terms of roadmap and i'm sure once we've completed or once they've completed those roadmap items this will be updated as well so wax is still is still working again wax has survived crypto winter you know i was still in wax during crypto winter and they've proven that they are still worth the money and they are still making money and making moves so i wouldn't worry too much about wax so we'll go to shib now right now it is down 9.1 percent it is sitting at null dot null 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 eight seven three zero satoshis zero ethereum down 4.7 percent in the satoshi valuation and four percent in the ethereum market cap 4.3 billion 24 hour volume 785 million circulating supply 497 trillion 
we know that Vitalik Buterin burned 400 trilli of his SHIB and you can see that SHIB is just listed everywhere and we'll take a look at the ether scan holders are at, is actually up by 22,000 the last I checked this it was like 450,000 holders now they're at 472,000 holders I mean uh, it's just interesting how SHIB was the catalyst that got me into these doggy coins uh, I, big shout out to my homie he was it's actually it's actually the friend of mine whose birthday's on the 29th who told me about ship and was like dude put in on this it has no cap it's probably going to be better than doge and i'm just like all right fuck it you know so craziness i'm sure this is going to be a seven seven figure uh holding uh coin in the near future so let's get after it so we'll go to ship here um what can we do ship yeah we'll do the ship tether there's probably more data there so let's just delete all our drawings here oops let's take a look at the one week so you know not much data to report here uh it's looking like ship posted three bloody weeks i mean with Elon just on a tweet storm right now I, ca I can see that happening so we'll go over to the one day so when we look over when we look over at the one day okay we had this huge rally up here to no 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 32 thousand 30 32 nine zero eight zero in price and then the the sell-off okay however the EMA ribbons are still flipped bullish and we are above the 50 day moving average the bottom right here was confirmed on the 31st of may okay and it's looking like shib is going to return to the mean and it's going to let's see it's looking like it's going on an uptrend here i'll just you know draw this little happy little uh channel here this confirmation bias channel up here good money flow okay this Look, it, this this anchor wave here is looking like it's not even done completing okay it does not look like it's ready to complete here it's probably what probably what it's going to do is one of these just form a, a a small little divergence here and then make its way to the upside because you know everyone loves shib so when we go to the four hour this is probably where we're going to see a lot more price action here and we can see here there was lots of there was a bloody bloody money flow okay and then we did have this divergence here starting on the 20th of may ended on the 22nd of may and then popped off on the 25th that was probably when we were starting to somewhat recover and then we can see here this is when elon and the the latest fud started happening we had yet another divergence here price action to the upside and it's looking like ship was not really affected too much by Elon's FUD here, but then there is definitely a slope down that's forming. I don't think it's going to complete to the downside. I think it's going to create one of these maneuvers here. Probably going to do a SHIB maneuver, create another divergence, and continue going up. Because uh, the fact that it's still, the EMA ribbons are still bullish, and the 50 day moving average is, is acting as support is telling me at least based on these indicators here is telling me that the uptrend is still intact in terms of bullish structure so we'll go to the one hour and it's looking like there's more there's much more money flow in the one hour bottom was confirmed okay and it's looking like the the bears and the bulls are definitely battling it out here on this no 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 85 1786 level here um, since the market itself is somewhat starting to recover i'm going to call that it's going to continue moving up and it will respect this channel 
to the upside and and you know all, all all of the people who are hanging out in miami right now it must be very interesting because the way I, the way i view it is it's just a bunch of you know crypto people just hanging out drinking and partying and you know it's, it's, it's like i said in the, in the beginning of the week generally these type of events don't do anything for the price what i'm hoping is that it will shift sentiment and get people hyped up again so that when they go back home and they're back on the grind they can then spread that positivity and that bullish sentiment out to their followers which will then reflect into the price and market itself you know that, that that's what i think is going to happen that that will be the outcome of of this event and tomorrow i think is going to be jake jake paul's fight with uh floyd and you know he's going to be shilling his his coin hard so you know that's what that's what i'm hoping that that will come out of this weekend just everyone going back to work in the beginning of the week spreading positivity just you know just fuck elon and tesla again i'm not, not gonna buy tesla anymore and just get back on it and let's just head on back to the moon so as far as i'm concerned shib is looking good this is more of a dollar cost average type strat again you know i know that this coin is super new and very very volatile and risky it's just there's just too many eyes on it right now for it to for it to be ignored you know like i'm sure truthfully the developers were probably trying to get into it to make a quick buck and see what where would where it would go and the fact that it's gained in popularity so fast and is beloved by so many people including an entire country like india probably shattered all their expectations and now they're like okay well it seems like this is a serious project now so let's get into it let's let's dig in and start building and uh, you know it's, it's just interesting how that happens right so uh as far as i'm concerned ship is looking good i'm probably going to buy some more uh when i finish this video especially since the gas prices are super low but yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this ta video for wax and ship again stay safe out there um please enjoy your day uh the the weather is getting better you know get outside get some vitamin d spend time with your loved ones drink water take naps <clears throat> make sure that you're sleeping and uh don't look at the charts you know i mean like yes we're down but you know check on it tomorrow morning or maybe sunday and uh things will be all right so yeah uh Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.